back to Novice Explorer Radio. We are live back on the mainland after a blustery but beautiful excursion in the Outer Hebrides. Yes, Colin, the weather in Scotland can be unpredictable, and I feel the explorers foreshadow a myriad of mishaps over the coming days. Oh, sound like Miss Pigman. You got ice like summer sky. If smart could kill us. You have joined us on a very exciting day. It is our first laundry day. Eight pounds. 18 kilo wash. No detergent needed. We are just outside Oban. We've just got off the ferry and it's time to get a few jobs done. We've done a food shop. We've got a new bike chain for me. And we're about to get diesel. And it's time to continue our adventure on the mainland of Scotland for a few more days. Our washing is only minutes away from being done, so it's almost time to chuck it in the dryer. Uh, the weather is still absolutely amazing, it's really hot and very very sunny, although there is apparently a weather warning out for rain later on, so we'll see if we get caught up in that. You keep telling me you're shy. We're done with the laundry for now, it cost us £12 in total, that was £8 for the wash, and then it cost us £2 uh, for two separate 15 minutes in the dryer. Unfortunately, not everything is bone dry, so we're hoping to find a little bit more space at our next wild camping spot, and that will be somewhere in and around Glencoe. So we're heading up north a little bit. But there are a few places by the looks of it that we can um, set up camp, so hopefully. If the weather holds out, we can get our, uh, the rest of the washing dry, but we shall see, fingers crossed. And as if by magic, as soon as we mention the weather, it starts to rain. It hasn't got too bad yet, there's a certain dark cloud hanging overhead, which I hope we're not driving into, but I think we might be, what do you reckon? Note to self, don't leave the laundrette with half dry clothes, make sure they are bone dry because the Scottish weather, you can never trust it. So we've got half dry clothes, a bloody big bag of them, and they're all still damp. So what are we going to do, We're brain gonna box? We're going to make <laughs> the washing line inside to oh, try and dry them all. Like a normal person. What have you got in your box of tools, Meg? Lots of pegs. Yeah. I've just started the heater. And as you can see, the lights have come on, so we're going to warm this baby up. It's going to be like a sauna in here. We're going to try fashion the washing line to fit various contours of the van, whilst also being able to be inside, aren't we? I feel, I used to think we were quite clever, but now I just think we're really stupid. <laughs> it's a learning curve. Kind of like an also self sensor. Hey, it's not all bad. Fudge bucket. Oops. <laughs> Come on now. You can trust that we will not be doing this again. The amount of clothes made it quite difficult as they were very heavy, all hanging off that single line. We tried our best to laugh about the situation, but it did put us in a bad mood temporarily. So we've installed our makeshift washing line. We look like some sort of budget version of Spider-Man, but hopefully, it's going to do the trick. We've left the van in its car parking spot with the uh, heater running full blast and it was excruciatingly hot inside so we've left it to cook for a little while. Hopefully that'll dry the clothes a little bit quicker. If my skin is looking a bit softer and a bit more oily than usual that's because we have got the Avon um, Skin So Soft. Skin So Soft. Um, it's not a midgy repellent per se but apparently it works really well so uh, 
Stuart Marie got us a bottle of that, so thank you very much. It seems we did work all right at the moment. I got bitten alive when I stepped that earlier, but I put a few a few sprays on and uh, I think it's doing the job. How's my skin look? Beautiful. It stopped raining for the minute, so we're gonna enjoy this little bit of sunshine that we do have. Have some food and hopefully the clothes will dry in time and we can go to bed at a reasonable hour and carry on the adventure tomorrow. Those clothes are gonna have to stay there all night. You know that, don't you? They can't. <laughs> they can't. And all tomorrow. I'm no. so annoyed with ourselves. We're so silly. Yeah. We thought it'd be all right. I mean, the weather was, if we were in Oban, the weather was blinding. It was so good. We could have dried them there, but instead we rushed it. But we this has been a valuable learning experience, unfortunately. Um, fingers crossed for the best outcome. But who can complain when you've got a view like that? Hmm? for all types of services except if you do require drying it will take a few days <laughs> I was just outside taking some photos but the midges are everywhere and it looks my looks like my uh, Avon stuff's worn off looks like we'll be sleeping with the laundrette because the heater will only do so much to dry them the heater yeah not in terms of heat I mean it was it was very hot it was, unbearable in here earlier but uh, in terms of drying the clothes it's it's made a start we've aired it out opened the windows and done our best but uh, it's just one of those things I was kind of laughing about it because I had a I didn't enjoy our ferry trip today much mm -hmm. uh, and then so I was kind of laughing about this and then um, his Meg's turned to be Mr Grump Grump pants I had an hour's nap I woke up a nicer person <laughs> Right, so we woke up this morning and the clothes weren't exactly dry. It's kind of what we expected. Yes, so we took the line out and hung it on a, uh, a post. Yeah, from where we're camped now, uh, there's a, like a stop sign and there's no parking allowed here. So we thought, nothing wrong with that. It's semi-sunny, quite warm outside. So we thought, let's do it, you know? We, we're not self-conscious people. You've seen our videos, we, we do a lot of stupid stuff. However, we did not know that this area was like Piccadilly Circus. Yes, there's been about three or four bus loads of tourists come <laughs> and at one stage we had our picture taken with all our laundry out and we were becoming more of a... Attraction, uh, yeah. I think, than the mountains. People were kind of looking at us. So we thought, right, I think it's time to pack up yeah. and we're going to drive back down to Fort William uh, because there's a drying machine there because otherwise this whole exercise has been pointless if the clothes get Stinky before we've even worn them. It's a waste of time and money. So we need to get it done. Yeah, and it was embarrassing wasn't it? It was a bit but valuable lesson learned. Um, get your laundry done in one day. Yeah So, uh, <laughs> so before we cause any more of a hubbub It's time to hit the road and go to Fort William Onwards finally have a month's worth of dry washing. Whee. We've got a coffee and we've now got time to fold it up and put it all away. Yes. So what have we learned from this Callum? Um, that you shouldn't bother washing, nay changing your clothes ever. No. It's not no, worth that, the hassle. That's, that's not what we learned from this. Uh, what we actually did was use a laundrette, it's cheaper, it's cost us, with the dryer anyway, it's cost us £2 for a 40 minute spin instead of £2 for a 15 minute spin in yeah. Oban. So now we are sitting in a beautiful car park in Fort William and it is now time to sort of start folding and putting stuff away, which is boring. But it's actually going to feel quite nice, I think, that yeah, this is finally dry and we do not have to sleep with the washing line stretched all the way around the van. 
you're on top duty. All done and put away. Look how neat that is. My uh, OCD's kicking in nicely. <laughs> Inherited from my mother. Thank you, Mum. Yeah, all put away. It's quite warm in here, isn't it? It is a bit. Just chilling. Not really doing anything today. We're going to get a few boring jobs done on the computer and things like that. And then we'll go and find a nice spot to camp. And then we've decided, depending on the weather, we'll go do Glen Finnan Viaduct. Woohoo! Bit of lunch now? Oh, no. So we've been in this car park for a good couple of hours now. We've had our lunch. As we, as we showed you, the laundry is dry, folded, put away. So it feels a, a clean slate and uh, we're ready to go. Our general plan for tomorrow is... Uh, we're going to get up early and do the Glen Finnan Viaduct walk and trail. But we are very, very close again to our beloved Braveheart car park. So that is our backup option. That's a fail-safe option. But look, like I said, there is one potential near Glen Finnan, but that's could be very busy, we don't know. Busy and it's only just after five, so. Yeah, so we're still in sort of. And peak. the weather is nice, the sun's shining. It's been quite warm in the van, hasn't it? Very warm in the van, but you know, I keep banging on about our solar. It's top that the batteries have been running the cool box, which is full of food. Uh, everything's charged up pretty nicely, so I'm really happy with that. It means we've got some juice. Yeah. But that's about it, so we're gonna move on um, and just find a place to hunker down again. No hanging washing in the van, we're all clean, pretty much ready to go. I've, I've tried and trimmed up some loose hairs me and Meg missed the other day. <laughs> and yeah, all's good at the minute, we're feeling a bit better, a bit happier now. Bit things tired, are tired though. Tired, yeah, but I'm not quite sure why. Yeah. Still uh, getting over the early ferry, I reckon. Six o'clock wake up. We don't work these days, so it's a bit of a shock to the old system. So a slight spontaneous change of plan. Uh, we've decided to go and see the viaduct now at six o'clock at night because the weather is beautiful and in keeping with our top tips, um, hopefully it might be quite quiet and hopefully it won't rain because it's not supposed to rain till tomorrow afternoon. So let's risk it for a chocolate biscuit and go and see what we can see. We walked through the railway's woodland path and started to climb up the hillside behind the station. We stopped to admire the views from the vantage points. The scenery was breathtaking. It took around 30 minutes to reach the picturesque landmark made famous in the Harry Potter movies. And what a view, the viaduct stood magnificent against the vibrant Scottish backdrop. Expelliarmus! When will we learn not to trust the Scottish weather? I don't know what you're talking about, it's sunshine. Beautiful. Raining, again. <laughs> it's nothing but consistent. Well, they don't call us the novice explorers for nothing. I'm absolutely <laughs> soaked. <laughs> oh dear. 
very peculiar. We were still in the sun, but getting absolutely soaked. Luckily, we found this uh, little uh, tunnel here on the way back to the train station. How do you feel after that? Uh, wet. Um, I'm really glad we dried all the clothes. <laughs> uh, we won't need a wash tonight because the rain's done it. At least I, I'm not soaked to my pants, but my top. Mm. I've got a wet bra. <laughs> I don't think it's stopped quite yet. There was a beautiful rainbow forming just near the viaduct. Uh, so unfortunately, we did not want to stop, did we? Did you see the rainbow? That's what the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, we all wait here until the storm passes. Show me where the ending goes. Finally back at the van, the rain's almost stopped, but I can't tell you how good it is to put on fresh, clean clothes. We're just deciding now where we're staying tonight. We might check out the local area, see what's going on around here. If not, like we mentioned earlier, we've got the fail-safe plan, hopefully, which is the Braveheart car park, which we stayed in before Glen Nevis. So that's not too much of a drive from here. Um, so we're just gonna weigh up our options. My hair is wet. Mm. We smell a wet dog. That was not nice. <laughs> not nice that lead to that walk. But the, uh, the viaduct, very impressive. Just a shame that uh, we underestimated the weather. And go late on of an evening, because I think we saw, we saw a few people, but I imagine that path's just like yeah. constant people. Well, the, the main car park down the bottom was heaving. We're in the museum car park. Not many people up here. So uh, that was a bit, of, a bit of luck, really, that was, but it's worked out fine for us. So hop back in the van and find somewhere to eat and sleep and work. Is how high we are. Yeah. No. Since when? So we've just pulled up to Braveheart car park and there's a new addition. 2.3 meter height restriction. Now we've measured ourselves roughly for when we were booking ferries and we've put ourselves at 2.5. So we don't know what to do. Oh yeah, also we may have inflicted our first sort of major wound on to Flora. I say major. He hasn't seen it yet, I have. It was my fault. Um, so get his first reaction yeah. next. Things are going really well. I'm not that bothered, it's bound to happen at some point. And it's just a bumper apparently. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens coming up in a minute. <laughs> okay, cow. Come and look what I've done. Go over here, you look. Oh! <laughs> it's only a, a slight scratch. <laughs> to be fair. Oh, yeah. It might suction out. Well, that's what bumpers are for, I suppose. Uh, Meg did scratch this one faintly a few months ago against a wall, and I was like, oh, God. But uh, I guess you did a proper job this time, mm. Oh, fucking chicken! <laughs> <laughs> oh well. That'll be the first of many, so we can't be too precious. It's a plastic bumper, that's what they're for. Although we did pay to have these little holes filled in not too long ago. <laughs> oh well. Sorry, cow! Um, and that's too tall. We're too tall. Mm, well, yeah, we're, t we're too tall. We didn't, that, that was the last thing I expected to see when we rolled up here. I think I remember seeing like the, the, the dark red things, but the top wasn't on it when we were here last time. No. Disappointing. How unfortunate. But we have been here before. Sorry about the bumper. That's all right. Burr, don't touch me. <laughs> so anyway, this means that we're going to have to find someone new anyway. We've been here before, so whatever. We didn't care. <laughs> I wouldn't be saying that when it gets to about 12 o'clock tonight. <laughs> We've got new attitude. Every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. We got everything. What do you think to that? <laughs> Good job I was awake. <laughs>
Good morning from our van in Little Car Park. We did ask permission. I have zoomed in a bit. <laughs> Go now. We did ask people we'll make us for permission last night before we stay. There are a few member homes here. Have the best check. They're absolutely fine with it. It's yep. quite nice. It's in the middle of Fort William. So we've uh, got all the amenities on hand if we need them, but we're all right with them. Yeah. It wasn't too bad, was it? No, nope, not at all. A bit nice this morning, yeah. Might have if you get up before nine o'clock, but hey ho. Maybe. So we gotta do a bit of cleaning up, washing up from last night. And get on our merry way. So that's it for our Scottish adventure. We are now heading down south into England to catch the ferry from Harwich. We've got a few days before the ferry, so we're going to put everything straight and probably not film very much of it because I think we're just going to chill out a bit and not do anything that exciting. Have a break, get everything sorted, edit what we've got. Yeah, but I don't think there'll be a gap in the videos necessarily. We'll just catch up to where we are and just chill out for a few days. But as soon as we get towards the ferry, I'm sure we'll start recording again and uh, film the European side of the adventure. See you next time. See ya. Join us next time as we catch the ferry to Holland and explore Amsterdam. Please feel free to like, subscribe and comment down below. We really do appreciate you taking the time to let us know what you think.